Hello, welcome back, not ever here. I'm now looking at Armor Group Center for turn four. And it is not as messy as I thought it was going to be, honestly. It looks like they've definitely put up a line of defense here uh, around Zodomir and Vinitsa. If I can find my... Oh, there it is. So uh, you can see, you know, of course, they've, they've got the line here. We have Panthers down here south. So originally, the plan was to flank around the Vinitsa line, but they've put a blocking force in there to stop us. Um, now it looks like, you know, the best move might be to go for the Panthers and leave them through this open, not this open gap, but through this, uh, this, this gap of plains right here where the, there's no river might be a, a good plan there. Um, we're also going to have to just bring our, keep bringing our army over this way. We also have the other army over here. We're going to have to bring down this way and hopefully these two can form a line, a, a line, you know, of our own against these, uh, the Soviet forces right now. I, I would have liked to have broken through this turn. I would have liked to have pushed them really hard and uh, started to do a breakthrough, but I don't think we have the manpower in position in order to really work a breakthrough into the plan. So like what I would have wanted to do is if I could even extend all the way into, into this gap right here, but I mean, I'd basically just be funneling Panzers, be funneling Panzers right in here. And uh, they'd have to kind of hold the line along this, this axis here, which, you know, is fine, but it doesn't really achieve anything. And it's more likely that the, uh, the, the teeth here in this little jaw is going to close and it's going to just do damage to us. So it feels un unnecessary to go for a, on, a, on a breakthrough right now. I think we're going to spread our pandas out a little bit here in the south. And, um, well, not even in the south, like more towards the middle here, towards the center. And then we're going to just try and um, prepare for the next next turn where we might be able to uh, get of ourselves a breakthrough up here. So we'll move uh, this, this core into position. Actually, let's get rid of this fortified unit here first. We'll try and get him out of position. There we go. And now we can move that HQ up where we wanted it to go. Move this one right up. Oh, God, I can't quite get there. Hello, HQ. Um, There you go, right there. Perfect. So, um, yeah, so we're going to try and move. Uh, we're going to leave two Panzer Corps down here. So, I mean, everyone else is going to stay down here, I guess. I think there's only two Panzer Corps left, plus the, uh, yeah, plus this is, which is the first Panzer Group, the overall army headquarters. So we'll leave these guys down here along the line, and uh, this one can stay over there, actually. This headquarter can stay right there, so everyone can just stay where they are, actually. I'm fine with that. Sounds good to me. I'll move this guy a little bit closer, actually. And uh, hopefully the next turn we can take, uh, we can threaten to take Vanitsa right away. And then other than that, I mean, it's going to basically just be us moving our troops back over here. Oh, they're going to hold that position. Son of a bitch. Uh, we can hopefully try and get our, our position, our forces, sorry, into position here along the, the river that uh, Soviets are on. Let's try and get these guys into position here. Gonna force the population to evacuate. And actually, that, did that fortified hex just move or did um, my eyes playing tricks on me? Probably my eyes playing tricks on me. I'll move a couple more guys up here. So, I mean, it's been a very couple, uh, very lackluster, for lack of a better word, turns. We haven't done too much. We've basically just been trying to move into position, which, you know, I've said before in the other videos, and I'm sorry for saying it again, but it's uh it's it's too bad you know it's a it's an issue that i created myself i i am um, i have actually i mean i i think i could have put my guys into better positions so this wouldn't have happened and uh, i'm gonna take the blame for that one for example down here i mean if i hadn't lumped my lumped my panzers into that southern approach i might have been able to um to do something this turn and uh you know if i left them up here along this oh goodness if i left them up here along this um Gap right here. We might be able to push in this turn and try and get between Zodomir and Benitza. But I didn't. You know, you have to live and learn. That's how this game goes sometimes. In fact, all the time, you know, you live and learn. And uh, one day you, you get better, hopefully. I haven't gotten better yet, so it's hard to say if that's actually true or not, but I choose to believe it is. Let's go ahead and move this uh, this core HQ up there. There we go. Now the rest of these guys, this, uh, this army down here, the 17th army, will go ahead and we'll try and push into the south down here to kind of balance out the panzers is there there we go so we'll move this guy up here as well if we can this actually we're going to take this uh slovakian mobile brigade we're going to reassign it uh can i not oh i can't reassign it oh no i can what do i think what am i talking about we'll put it on the uh mountain core i think the mountain core one admin point used. Uh, so what it said there, it said leader role successful. What happens, I think, is every time you do a command, an action like that, it does these things called leader rules. And I think it's, I don't know exactly what the, percent, the percentages are, 
but uh, they have a percentage chance to succeed or fail. I think even if the, the action fails, unless it like fails catastrophically with several rolls in a row, I think that you can still do the action. It just costs more admin points or it costs more supplies or whatever whatever the actual thing is that it's it's it has to uh, has to cost. Um, where's the 17th army? Is it up here? Yes. Okay. So this guy, this uh, the Yager division can stay with us right now. We're going to cross the river here. Try and push these guys back. I mean, these guys are cut off, so they're not really going to be much of a... What do we have here? A rifle? Let's do a, let's do a heart attack. Um, oh, there we go. Surrender, surrender the rifle division. So these guys shouldn't be too hard to, to get rid of, to surrender. But it still might take us a couple turns all the same. Let's try this attack first here, see how it works. Surrender the artillery brigade, and the cavalry division is going to keep retreating. Can we get one more attack? We might be able to get them here. No, retreat again. Son of a... Ugh, ridiculous. So we're at status lab. Finally, we're not going to be able to take it this turn, but we are getting closer and closer, ever closer to being able to... Can I attack this, actually? What do we have here? A tank and a cavalry division plus an HQ. Let's go ahead and try and take that. Actually, status lab population is going to evacuate, so that's cool. And uh, we'll try and force them to surrender here. Retreating them, but not surrendering. 15 casualties, though. Hey, that's that's okay with me. I mean, we've, we've done is pretty much everything we can, though. I mean, if these guys, I don't know why they're so difficult to get rid of. But one day, one day we'll get rid of them. Actually, still pushing them really hard here. Can we take, is there a, take this cavalry brigade in here. Maybe they can get rid of this mountain brigade. There we go. Finally going to get rid of them. And maybe we can get rid of this artillery as well. No, still not. Still not. Oh, also something that I wanted to show you guys, too, is also down here. You'll see that they've uh, the Russians have mostly pulled back. Let me try that again. They've mostly pulled back here from the front line. So instead of being, you know, in this area down here, they've pulled back beyond this river. So now they're in Odessa up here and over this way. I think, in fact, they pulled back uh, mostly to this line. So, I mean, it's it's going to be it's going to be uh, better for us to move up our forces. I might do that off camera because, you know, it's just a, a process of moving individuals up with no real chance of combat. So um, it, it's going to be. It's gonna be slow going, but we'll get we'll get there. And finally, hopefully, one day, we'll have uh be up to Odessa. Can we? Uh, we might as well attack this guy too, I guess. Now ah, there we go. And just try and keep pushing them back here, making it difficult, man. Making it very difficult here. I mean, eventually they'll run out of places to run, and we'll be able to take them. But how long will that take, honestly? Let's put uh. Well, this is attached to this core down here, yeah. So we'll put the put this core up here, I guess, for now. Try and keep it in, in supply or not in supply in command range of the other guys. And I think that's basically it. Oh, we gotta move these guys over here as well. I haven't moved these guys yet. Is that the HQ? He's got a lot of guides under him. This HQ. All right, let's try and move these guys all the way up to. We're gonna move them down here actually. Move these guys all down here. And hopefully, before too long, we'll be right where we need to be. Is that correct? Good. Okay. So, uh, now these guys up here, 17th Army actually has two, actually has one mountain brigade direct, directly underneath it. Uh, I might move them down here and attach them to another HQ. Let's, let's do that, actually. We'll put them on, uh, how many do you have under you directly? This one has only two divisions directly beneath it, plus a couple support brigades, so... Or actually only has one, and then it has the uh, LII core. So let's go ahead and put the uh, the mountain brigade here under the LII core. Um, yeah, we'll do that. There right now. Aha! Nice. No extra admin points. I mean, we got we got fifty one admin points, but again, you know, last turn you remember that it took us twenty eight admin points or twenty seven admin points, depending on which unit we wanted to motorize per unit we wanted to motorize. So it took a lot of points to get to a. Uh, to that point where we could we could do what we wanted to do with moving troops up um, really quickly. So we want to try and, try and conserve as many admin points as possible, but at the same time, you know, you have to sometimes uh, break a few eggs to make an omelet, as they say. Move that guy up there as well. This HQ, the Slovakian Corps, uh, is this the 17th Army? It is. So let's move the 17th Army down there, and we'll put this guy... Hmm. What do I want to do with this one? Also, these uh these command these uh security divisions down here we can start to move up, I guess. We'll try and get them towards uh I don't know, wherever we want to go. Put one in should we get this guy out of here? 
Army group south. We can get him out of there. So we'll take a... No, we'll leave him there, actually. We'll put this uh, this one security division there in Lvov, and we'll move the other one up as close as we can. We'll try and get him in Tarnopol eventually. This security division can also go to Rostov. And uh, that's basically it so far, I think, in the south. Oh, there's an infantry corps over here. Hello. Oh, these are like the reserve guys, I think. So we'll leave them back here. I think we discussed that last turn. They're attached directly to the OKH, which is the overall... The Obercommando de Herr. The... Why did that sound almost Spanish? It's the overall army... The, the entire theater control on the Eastern Front. It um, controls everything over here. Even Army Group South, North, and, and Center are attached to it. Um, I think that's everything, though. Let's go ahead and move these guys up here a little bit in the south. Might as well move them as far as we can, right? We'll just uh, keep moving these forces up, and I'll keep talking to you in my, my weird voice. And uh, we'll keep doing things. You're going to actually get interdicted. Okay, interesting. Let that, uh, let that happen, I guess. These guys in the, in the south, in fact, I'm uh, looking at the... Uh, because there is a reinforcement and withdrawal schedule, so not all the units that are in the game that start off the game end up at the end of the game. I mean, some of them have to withdraw. They go to the wars, the uh, the Western fronts, or they just uh, they're sent other well elsewhere to uh, kind of reequip and stuff in, in based on on the historical schedule. So um, in this game, some guys are going to be moving eventually before too long. I think there's a couple um, Slovakian mobile corps. Not the mobile brigade, but the mobile corps, I think, also does that. It'll, later on, it'll go ahead and move itself down, or move itself out of the uh, the theater. So it'll be basically gone. And I don't think it's going to come back. It might come back later on in the game, though it's hard to say, hard to say right now. Um, but for the time being, like that's going to happen a couple times in throughout the game. We're going to lose uh, units like that. And it's not a big deal, but it's going to be something to definitely check up on. So if you see there's a unit and suddenly it's gone... Um, I'm gonna have to, you know, just, just I'm gonna have to remember, try and remember which ones are being used, because the worst thing I can think of happening is that, um, units just disappear on me while I'm trying to conduct some kind of big, or, big organized attack or something, and suddenly the units that I need disappear, so it's gonna be, uh, in, in, important to remember that. Uh, 11th Army down here, where is the 11th Army? Oh, it's all the way up there. Well, let's go ahead and bring you closer to the front then, get you all the way up here. And uh, yeah, that's going to basically be it for us this turn. I think we've, we've moved up wherever possible. Um, we haven't quite gotten rid of all the fortified units down there, but I mean, we, we're, we're basically like, if you look at the line here along the south, the main line of, of attack, we've basically um, caught up with the panzers here. We, it took a couple turns, but we, we got there almost. And uh, hopefully next turn we can actually launch an attack here on the south and force ourselves, or force the enemy away from this river line around Vidica. So... Um, if we push perhaps along, even if we go here towards Zadamir, and then down here, go either through here or up through right through here, we can hopefully take Vinitsa and uh, Zadamir and open up the road to Kiev in this direction. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully before too long, there'll be some interesting battles happening. And uh, have a great day, guys.